Celebration tonight at a local hospital where a baby has beaten all odds. Weighing a little more than a pound at birth, Isabella Stanley is the youngest baby born at Kaiser Permanente Hospital in San Diego to survive and go home. CBS News 8's Marcella Lee joins us live from Grantville tonight with her inspiring story. Marcella? Barbara Lee, Isabella Stanley was born way back on October 3rd. She's been at the hospital here in the NICU ever since, until today when she was finally cleared to go home. I can't even explain. It was... I didn't think she was going to make it from when she was born. It's the day Isabella Stanley's parents weren't sure their precious daughter would ever get to enjoy. Are we changing her, getting her ready to go home? <laughs> But to know why her journey home is so special. Oh, your first ride outside. <laughs> you have to see how far she's come. Isabella was born on October 3rd, 2013, weighing just one pound, two ounces, barely bigger than her mother's hand, her tiny, underdeveloped lungs fighting to keep her alive. Doctors warned her parents her chances of surviving were bleak. We have one percent of survival. There's definitely um, a lot of days where Isabella was right on the edge, and, and I there were many times where I didn't think she would survive. Dr. Matt Sebald, Kaiser Permanente Hospital's NICU director, says Isabella beat all odds. Congratulations. That's so exciting. He says she's the hospital's very first baby born at 22 weeks gestation to survive. And everybody says, you know, she's a miracle baby because she's supposed to survive. After more than five long months in the NICU, Isabella weighs a healthy eight pounds, nine ounces, and her parents couldn't feel more blessed to be bringing her home. She's taught us to fight, not give up, because with prayer, there's hope. Isabella's mom tells me she has three older kids who were born at nine and ten pounds, so when she went into labor early, she was quite scared. Tonight, Isabella's father, Robert Stanley, and her mother, Anna Camberos, want to thank all of the doctors, nurses, and therapists here at Kaiser who helped their daughter survive and say this hospital's state-of-the-art NICU most certainly saved their daughter's life. Barbara Lee. All right, Marcella, thank you. Doctors say that Isabella has done incredibly well, but she is still at risk for developmental delays, which they will continue to monitor as she grows.